So, this is Tony behind the scenes. We're just about to shoot a video, and he is literally lying on the floor in front of some store. But it's, it's only because. And it's so random. This is the way that I feel grounded. I feel uh, <laughs> grounded. Yeah, I feel like because I'm always hot, and you said I'm a pita. Which again, yeah, you're a pita energy. I am. The pita is masculine, yeah. No, it's just a, a dosha. So it's just basically a type of like energy. Energy, yeah. So the energy is hot. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm a hot energy, and that's. And all day, of course, when you're touching me on the head. Yes, guys, he's so hot. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I mean, I mean, his body. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I mean, he's releasing hot energy all day. I am, but when I, I touch him, yeah, <laughs> touch my head. Okay, my this head. doesn't sound good. Yeah, but it's. But so know. basically this is what Tony does every time, okay not every time, yeah, but, but he will do random things like this. Just on the street he would lie down, he'd be like, baby I want to rest. Yeah. And I have to stand beside a person like this, and people will start thinking there's some problem or he's having a heat stroke or I don't know. And I'll have to just tell them no, he's just resting. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so, baby. Get up, we gotta do the video. Okay. You ready? You can. Yes? Okay. So where are you gonna you stand? This is this is Tony Solo from uh, Budapest saying what's up guys? <laughs> Talking about this thing and this thing. I don't know. Yeah. Damn. Give me kisses. <laughs> My lovely lady, which is behind the camera right now, she gave you guys an insight into what I'm like sometimes, randomly. And let's get a little bit more focused right now on what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here to talk about real emotional connection. And the thing is, emotional connection happens when you and her want it to happen this is what you're gonna see right now when I talk to this girl you're gonna see that I want to connect with her and you're gonna see that she wants to as well oh you're doing a lot of stuff hello hello, hello. you walk past me my god you are a very <laughs> Hello, I'm Anthony. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, you walk very slow and very... Slow? Really? Yeah, like you walk very... How to say it's like a slow grace to you that I really like. Okay. That's the best way to explain it. Yeah, it's because I have an hour and I just want to uh, find a bench and eat my sandwich actually. Okay, so you're actually in the middle of looking for somewhere to eat. <laughs> yeah, but I want to... I want to... I don't know who you are. I want to meet you. <laughs> I do. I'm so curious about the woman that's in front of me. Thank you. Where do you come from? I'm from Chicago. Oh, wow. Yeah. You can sit down and eat and I can talk to you. Or do you feel like you're going to be like, okay. um? Uh, yes, and uh, <laughs> it is going to be really awkward, but okay. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. You are by your own or? Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's just okay. awkward that I am <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> That's totally fine. I like women who can eat and not be ashamed of it. <laughs> really? Sorry. Yeah. If I, what if I told you I was like, oh, that's so sexy when you eat like that? You'll be like, all right, okay. <laughs> yeah. And do you have plans for tonight? Not tonight, no. I would say we can meet, but I have to work till one o'clock, so it's not the it's not the night. <laughs> yeah. So you have people come in like, um, I would like to order this. And <laughs> no, because 
I am in the kitchen, so I don't meet any people. So it's good, actually, because I work in the pastry. You know, I'm making desserts. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't have to talk with the people who came in late. So it's good. <laughs> would you rather talk with them, or would you rather not talk with them? Sorry. Would you rather talk with them or not talk with them? It's okay if you if you if you have to talk with them, but you know these people are so in, in the top of the. What is it? Sorry, my English is not the best because I have been um, learning Italian and I forget everything in English. <laughs> okay. So <it's> <laughs> but you know they are really um, posh. Yeah. Actually. Do they act posh as well? They, like have, they have too much money and they, they think that they can uh, pay for everything and you are just nothing. Like. Do they really have that attitude when they talk to you? Yeah. Oh, that's not really pleasant to be around. Mm. I, would, I would rather be in the back, to be honest with you. Mm. If people were coming in like that, I would be like, sorry, I'll stay in the back and I'll make the pastries. Yeah. But I like people who are much more humble. And you're so sweet as a woman, so I don't, I couldn't see you in, up front working with people like that all day. Mm. Really? Yeah, because you're really sweet as a person, like you. <clears throat> like you're very gentle by nature. That's the best way to describe it. And it seems like if you were dealing with people like that all day, it would take your energy mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. yeah. You look so... Mm -hmm. How do I say it? Oh. Professional. Professional. Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's cool, but you look—you look like your style is. It's not. It's, it's professional. But I have to, I have as to if wear chef coat, there, so I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean professional? <laughs> it's, it's as if you are very organized. <laughs> oh really? Yes. Uh, From the should, way you dress, you, you look see, very you organized. See my room. <laughs> uh, is it that bad? Really? Not very, really, just clothes everywhere. Mm. So, but I, you know, I, I see they're organized. So it's, it's, it's for me, it's not a, a mess. It's like something that I can see everywhere that, you know, it's clear for me. My friend said the same thing because his room is like that. And he's like, but for me, I'm like, yes. oh my God, are you kidding? For you, it looks horrible. But he's like, I know what everything is though. No, there, there is nothing, uh, food and, and everything. No, there are just clothes, but everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> And uh, have you been in, in other cities, I mean in Hungary, except Budapest? Because you told me that you live here for a while, so maybe you, you traveled somewhere? Yeah, uh, so, so, Chopin. Chopin? Chopin? Yeah, I've been yeah. there. Uh, Schierfolk. Mm -hmm. Around Bolaton Lake. <laughs> uh, there was another place. Uh, where was it? I've been to another place. I, I know it in my mind and I can see how it looks, but tell I don't me, remember tell me the what name. what did you see there? <laughs> yeah, this is my dream, actually. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You what, look what, tired. What, 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 what fascinates you about the Italian culture? What are you fascinated by? Because you're learning it right now and then... Yes, I've been learning it for uh, almost two years. So you're moving towards your dream, sounds like that. Yep. No, actually, uh, I've been there in uh, four or five times, so I, I don't really see the whole country, not yet. But actually, I, I really like the gastronomy is, is my favorite, the Italian gastronomy. And uh, I don't know, I just I just love to be there. If, if I am in, in Italy, no matter there, like in Sicily or in Tuscan, no matter. I just feel like that, oh my god, it's like my second home. Yeah. And I don't know, I have a lot of friends from there and maybe that's why. But 
I, I feel that I have to live there for years because hmm. I don't know. It's like, yeah. So it's, 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 it's all about that. I don't know. Yes, so. So it's more of like a home feeling. Sorry? So Italy mm -hmm. and the Italian culture is more like. Is this if you're Italian, but on the inside? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yes, maybe. I don't know why, but 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 yeah. Yeah. So, but it's it's good because you know the first time when I was there, I I was like, you know, I was really amazed and I I got a shock that oh my god, I love to be there. And after that, it's it's like a sickness, you know. You have to be more and more time there because you need it. So. But I like Hungary as well, and, and you know my family and, and everywhere is, is here. Well, it's always it's another thing. Yes. So yes, that's fine. <laughs> I like that you're pursuing your dreams. Sorry. I like that you're pursuing your yes. dreams. <laughs> yeah. Because you could just stay here. I mean, Sorry. Say because you could just stay here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stay here. But you. No, I, I I'm chasing. <coughs> You are? Yeah, but first I have to get the degree and after that. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. hmm. and what about your dreams? Do you have any special interesting dreams like uh, <laughs> being a rock star or something? Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you look tired. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I did have a dream when I was younger. It was to find out how. Uh, sorry, I just have to check that. Okay, they are this is really young so <laughs> okay I had to find out well I had a question mm -hmm. that was inside of me since I was little mm -hmm. and the question was how can men and women come together oh. <laughs> have love and be happy uh -huh. so it's like some kind of psychology or yeah that's well that was going through me because of what I was saying when I was like younger as well I've never seen good relationships so to speak and I was just so curious about why, just so curious that why it didn't work out. And that led all the way to today and what I do for work is what is that. Oh. Yeah, so I, oh. I had a dream when I was little and I continued to chase it and chase it and chase it. And mm -hmm. the opportunity opened up that was uh, allowed me to help in relation to it mm -hmm. to some degree. And so, yeah, that's now what I do. So I, I travel around and I, give seminars, so I'll be giving seminars in America, in Australia, and in around Europe. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's what I had as little, and it led me all the way to it. Oh. So yeah, that's what I do now. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So may, maybe we, we can say that you, you are in the good path <laughs> of your life. <laughs> but that's good, you travel a lot. Yeah. It's, one, it's been one of the most profound things to me, understanding mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. is being around different cultures. Because I also wanted to do that when I was little. In America, when you're there, it's very Americanized, where culture to culture, mm -hmm. they become Americanized. So they, they're like Americans. They're not really like Asian or Russian or German. Uh, they're like the like, German-American. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I didn't want that. I was like, what is it like to meet a person that's German and they are from Germany? And they act like they're German, and they're like, yeah, and it's different. It's funny. Yeah, that's good. That's interesting. I've never been in America. Actually, I've I've never been uh, only in Europe. So, mm -hmm. so I, I I meet people only who came here. <laughs> so. What's over there? You keep looking over there? Uh, sometimes there are my, um, what is it, colleagues. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot you work at Nobu, yeah. Yes, in Nobu, uh. and, uh, where, where you can see the, 
green something. Uh -huh. There is the, um, the, the entrance for, for the workers. Hmm. So, yeah. And what do you think about the Hungarian people? I'm curious. Like, you know, you, you told me that you like to, to see other cultures and people. What do you think the Hungarian people? <laughs> Hard question. <laughs> they're really sweet to me. Yeah, that's the best way really? to. Yeah. I actually okay. think, as a whole, they're sweet people. Really? Very. Wow. Yes, it's a balance to me because for me, I'm a very intense individual. So I'm someone who I'm always hot, like my heat, my skin and everything. I'm oh. always hot, really. <laughs> so I have to actually stay in cool environments or be around people who have cool energy wow. simply because I'm, I'm an intense energy as a person. Oh. This is why sometimes you go, what's wrong? And I'm just <laughs> like that because I'm because <laughs> because I'm just very, how do I say, centered, if you want to say that. But yeah, I think they're sweet. Yeah. Honestly, as a whole. I think sometimes they come across as mean, but they're not mean. Mm -hmm. But I do think there is depression. Uh -huh. I do think that some people here are too, too depressed or yes. like have a, like a down energy about them sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why as a whole. I just think they're very, mm -hmm. very sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like the way that you've done your eyelashes. They look big. <laughs> you know that? Yes, they are real. <laughs> they look big and beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you spend time in nature? In nature? Yeah. Well, actually, uh, I, I don't live in the city. I live next to the city. It, ta it takes me like almost, I don't know, a half hour to get in. I live really close to the nature, actually. The nature is like 10 minutes by, by walk, so it's really good. And uh, I always go for a walk with my dog and, and spend time there. So, and it's important for me. I couldn't, I couldn't live in, sorry, I couldn't live in the city because I don't know. It's, it's, it's like I, I would miss the whole thing, you know, the calmness and everything. So, so it's actually it's important for me um, to be in nature. Yeah. yeah, just for a walk in the field or something. I love nature. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, why not this? Yeah. yeah. I think I've seen. Is this from Zara? Zara? No, no, no. Oh. It's, uh, it's called. It's, it's what? Real. Yeah. And it's called um, Angasrufe, which is it's a German word, but it's it's like angel color. Angel color? Yeah. Yeah, and that's why, because uh, you can hear the, the it, it has a sound. The inside of this? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, it does, yeah, it does, yeah. it does. Yeah. So, actually, yes. But it's, it's just like some kind of marketing, I think. But I, it, I, I think it's really cool, and yeah, I bought it myself. So. And it has an angel wing on it. Sorry? The angel wing. Is that an angel wing? Yes. Yeah, the okay. other, uh, yes. I, I got it from my sister. Yeah. <laughs> So actually, it's like that, that you can see that it's uh, in the middle, it's white. Yeah. And uh, it means that it, it, it calls the, the, the white angel, which is, you know, like the pureness and, and you know, the, the clear one. And there are so many um, colors. Yeah. And uh, each, each, of, each color is called different angels. You know? it's, it's like the, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So the I don't know what's going on. 
So the so the black would be like the evil angel. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I didn't check this actually. Do you feel like what color? Do you feel like you're the white color angel? Ah uh, yes. I I bought it the white one because I don't know. I wanted the red one as well, but then I decided the white one because uh, I can wear it every every time. So yeah, it's, that's fine maybe. Really. But imagine if you had red right now. The red in this yep. would be perfect. With, <laughs> yes. It would be perfect. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I think that's the love or something. I mean, it's called the love or I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The black one, I don't know. What is that? I will check it. <laughs> yeah. Red could be like love, sexiness. Yeah. Fire. Fire. Like very yeah. hot tempered. Yeah. You don't seem very hot, temp hot tempered. You seem very cool energy. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're a very cool energy person. Well, yeah. So but blue would be perfect for you, or blue. purple. Uh -huh. Purple, yeah, maybe. I, I don't like purple. I don't know why. It's not the the color that I I could wear actually. Uh, what about yellow though? Yellow. I I love yellow. Yeah, I would yeah. say yellow looks like it will look good with you. Yeah. Yellow, red, white, black and grey maybe. Maybe these, these are my colors. <laughs> really? Then why are you wearing blue? I you, don't know. you said every color but the colors you're wearing. I don't know. It's like I fa I felt like this and I Yeah. Here I am. <laughs> yep. I think that's wonderful about women is that they can just go like Today I feel like wearing orange. I'm like, yeah. why though? But I don't know. I just feel like it's white. It's like, yeah. But if she wears black instead of orange, then she'll feel off. Oh. I wear too much black, actually. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> I gotta look that, yeah. I do I too. I love black and white. It's the perfect match. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Again? Sorry? Your name? Your Again? Name. Again? Annette. And your name? Anthony. Sorry? Anthony. Anthony, that's good. Yes, um, Annette. Yep. I like your energy. <laughs> you. You're a very cool energy person. That's the perfect balance for me. Ah, uh, good. It is. Yeah. Do you have Facebook or something? Yes, I want to see you again too. Okay. Okay. That is an example of a woman who wants to get to know you as much as you want to get to know her. Or in this case, a woman who wants to get to know me as much as I want to get to know her. This is very important. I see a guy, he goes up to a woman. As he's there, he starts to go through the motions of getting to know her. Key words that I've said, through the motion of getting to know her. As he's going through the motions of getting to know the girl, she's going through the motions of the girl getting to know the man. This going through the motion separates you from the experience of true connection with the girl. It's the man who can walk up to a woman and from the moment he says hello, let the woman know that he wants to get to know her because it's from that moment that she knows now I can be for real here with him. Because there's nothing like a man moving into the position of, I'm the man picking you up and the woman moving into the position of, I'm the woman being picked up. Because sometimes this plays out between a man and a woman without them even knowing. As the guy moves into, you know what, I'm going to come flirt with you, I'm going to say hello to you, I'm going to get to know you. The woman moves into putting up resistance, being able to flirt with him a little bit, but sometimes playing games or sometimes playing hard to get. Women can move into this based on the man. But sometimes you have the woman who's there and she has, a, she has enough experience with the man where she can already feel what's happening when he walks up. You don't want two positions to play out. You don't want to play out the position of the man trying to do something for the woman and you don't want her to play out the position of having to put in a resistance for what you're trying to do. This is why I say for there to be a real emotional connection you in her must want it. But it's set up initially by you. When I walked up to that girl it was set up initially that I wanted to get to know her. Even though she said, this is a bit awkward that I'm going to eat in front of you while we sit down and talk, but okay, let's do it. Because she's like, well, right now I'm on break and I was just looking for a place to eat. 
And then you see me move into what? Well, I know that you're going to do this, but who are you? I don't know who you are. I want to get to know the woman that's in front of me. As I cut everything down to why I'm here in that moment, she can now move in a clear direction with me. And as we move in a clear direction together, we know that we want to get to know each other. That's what I want you guys to do. As you're out there and as you're interacting with women, I want you to come from the place of, I want to get to know you. I do, for real. And the fact that I for real want to get to know you, I'm here for you to for real to get to know me. Because you and her must want it. Guys that get into this position of wanting to go up to women and just trying to go through getting to know the woman. They, they try to do that. And as they try to do that, the girl is okay having to give something back. So she doesn't really give something from her. She just gives, a, and her, she just gives something back. This is why I say so much to any guy that's out there trying to get a woman is that you must be interested in wanting to share yourself. As you share yourself, she becomes more adapt to wanting to share herself. Remember, she's leaning off your direction. If your direction is to be real, she's going to feel that she can be as well. That's why when you say I see me talking to women, I only speak in a way that's natural in the way that's only true for me because I know that I'm not there to just go through the motions. I didn't walk up to this woman because she's just some other girl. I chose this woman specifically out of the array of women that are walking around. Why would I not want to be there and be real with her? Why would I want to waste time when I could just go to another girl? I'm there because I want to get, this, want, get to know this woman more than the women that I've seen so far. Yes, there's many women out there, but I've specifically looked at her and went, I'm gonna go talk to her. And I want you guys to do this as well. When you see women out there, and this is the attitude, look at the woman as a potential lover. Stop looking at her as an approach. Because if you look at the woman as an approach, then you play out the position of man picking up the woman. But if you look at her as a potential lover, which she is because you're walking up to her because you specifically chosen her, now she becomes different for you. Now you can really see that woman. I see women clearly simply because I know that any woman I walk up to is a potential lover. I, I could have chosen to walk up to someone else. Why would I waste time on a woman who's just an approach? I'm not interested in just approaching her. I'm interested in the woman. But at the same time, you must also understand for all that to really work out, she must also be interested in what's going on. You may notice that sometimes you talk to a girl and it feels like maybe she's not interested or maybe she's just there giving you responses but she's really not interested in the conversation. This is something to take into account. When she's acting like this, you wanna see, okay, is she actually not interested or is she just shy? Or is she new at this and you need to help her out? Because sometimes you need to say, ask me a question and things like that. But you and her must want this. You must want it both. So as much as you are willing to reveal yourself, you must also understand that the woman must be just as willing. That's how the true connection is going to happen. Because as you guys heard me say in the past, if you have been with me, for a long time is that connection is energetic. If you and a woman are on the same energetic wave together, there will be a connection. But if one of you is really open to getting to know the other and the other one is not just as open, there won't be a, a true connection between you two. So yes, yeah, sometimes it is the woman's fault that there's not a connection, it is. Sometimes it is. And that's why you have to be humble and empathetic enough to allow her to start to ask you questions. That's why you need to shut up so she can give so you can give her the chance to do the, that part. And I remember the times where I was talking to women. And I was just trying and trying. And I would come up like, okay, you know what? There's a girl, I'm gonna go to approach her. And as I'm in front of her, I would feel like, hmm, I'm gonna get to know the girl. And I would go through the motions of asking this question, trying to be smooth with this question, and not really having the impact that I wanted to have. 
But it was in the moments where I went, okay, that's the woman that I want to meet. Everything else zones out. I want to meet that woman. Then I started to go through the process that I take students through. And then when I walk up to the girl, when I started to walk up to the girl from that place of I'm ho totally wanting to speak to her, everything changed because from the moment that I saw her, I knew that I wanted to get to know her specifically. I didn't want to get to know her and the woman next to her. I wanted to know that woman there. When I walk up to her, I only am focused on that woman. Every other woman doesn't matter. Sometimes when I'm walking up to a woman, I may notice a woman out of my eye and I may switch, really. Sometimes I do do that. But most of the times, I see the girl and I focus in. And when I walk up to her, I'm already in the created space when I walk up to her. And I say hello. And I'm here because I want to know this woman. And I allow myself to be quiet at times because I know that if I'm not quiet, she won't be able to get to know me. It is a two-way street, guys. If you want connection to happen between you and a woman, you must allow the connection to happen. How do you allow it to happen? By you being open to the connection being there. You being able to share yourself. As you've seen in the video, I told her about what was the reason why I got into what I love to do now. And I gave her the very real answer. I could have said, you know, I love helping guys. and then, I didn't say that. I said, since I was younger, I had this strong drive to see how men and women can come together, share love and be happy. That was the strongest drive I had into doing what I do now. And I told her that. She told me her dreams and then everything after that became just totally real. As you guys can see, we started talking about her chain. Now her chain wasn't, wasn't something I would say the, the most interesting thing in the world but I knew that it was interesting to her. And she said that my friend got it for her. The white color in it means that it's purity. We started talking about what if she got a different color. We started, it's, it's many different things we start going through. And a guy may look at this, you may look at this and say, it looks a bit boring, or it looks a bit like it's too much, or it should be more flirtatious. Then you're not understanding what it means to meet a woman. If you're saying that, you're getting a lot of flakes. I can tell you that right now. But it's interactions like this that stops the flaking from happening. That stops the flaking from happening. That's why I show you guys these interactions because it's from these interactions where you guys are going to see the truth of when you can really be with a woman. I'm not here to show you the, the, the gimmicks and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, 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 the quick remarks and the wittiness. I don't care about those things. Yeah, it may show up, but I'm here to show you guys what is it really like to be there with a woman. What is it really like to be there? And that took me through going after this girl and going after this girl and, and interacting with this woman. And seeing through all the women I'm interacting with, what's really the thing that's making a difference? Why is it that these women want to see me again? It's because in the first moments of me meeting them, it was already established that I want to meet them. Not the shell of the woman in front of me, but them who they are beyond who they show themselves to be. You and her must want it. If you just want it and she doesn't, there's no connection. If she wants the connection but you're not available to it, then it won't happen. But if you and her are open to it, like as you've seen in this video, there's absolutely a connection there. And with that being said, guys, enjoy the next woman you walk up to. Be sure that from the moment you say hello, you're being real with her. Be sure that you specifically choose her and you get to know her. You try to make something happen between you two as far as you being available. And as you, with you being available in the way you are, that unconsciously gives, gives other people that you got to forgive me if I'm splurring my speech because I'm tired. But that unconsciously gives others the permission to also be available because we actually are available by nature. We're available to being open. We're available in our heart, but it's when we give someone else the chance to be available where they can be available as well. I want you guys to go to the link in the description box. And I want you to click that because guess what? It's a free seduction course. I built this free seduction course based on meeting the woman all the way to what happens till you get to the bedroom. Just quick and effective what to do. And as you go through this process, you'll notice that, fuck, this was really helpful. And that's what I'm here to do, to help you get the results you want.
This is my last week in Budapest. On Friday, I'm off to America, and that's when I'll be starting my seminar. So you guys be looking forward to my seminars coming up in New York City in November, in November 4th, to Toronto, November 17th, 18th, sorry, and then San Francisco, December 2nd. Please, 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 this is the only time that I'm gonna come to America for the rest of the year. I want you guys to come here. My seminar is gonna be very different than any seminar out there simply because it's question and answer based and it has exercises and many things that I'll be giving you guys. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.